friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my favorites video for July and I'm gonna be honest here I actually kind of struggled picking my favorites this month. I feel like I've had a lot going on like plant care wise. I've been dealing with a lot a lot a lot of pests in my collection. If you've seen my recent Patreon video uh, that I posted actually yesterday on my Patreon, you'll see I organized all of these shelves and I found pests on so so many of these plants. All like thrips. I've just been seeing them everywhere. I think it's just like the time of the year. They're just running freaking rampant and so I feel like that's dampered. A little bit of my joy with my collection at the minute. I just feel like I'm constantly trying to problem solve rather than enjoy as much. So like I said I did struggle a little bit to pick these out but the ones I did find I've got six plants and then one other special thing but the ones I did pick out I am super duper excited about so I am excited to share them with you as well. But before I do, I just want to say if you're new here and you don't know me already, hi, my name is Emma and I make houseplanty content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my houseplanty journey, journey, <laughs> and maybe learn something along the way, stick around, watch some more of my videos, and subscribe to my channel. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy this video as well. Also, I should state that I've got my freaking softballs on. It is being the coldest, wettest July freaking ever. It's like dark and rainy outside. I could not film without this right now because it's so dismal and it's supposed to be like the height of summer and I am really not enjoying it. So can we please have the sun? That send sunny vibes my way please because I like desperately need them. <laughs> okay let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about, you might be able to see it on me. It is not a plant but I got new merch! And I am so freaking excited about it. So I have this t-shirt here, which I will insert a clip in as well. But this was one that I worked on with Tropics Narcotics, who is the one who did my favorite Monstera in the Metallica font shirt. And like a bunch of other kind of like punky, rocky, less, less cutesy, more like gothy sort of planty merch. I commissioned them to do a keep growing design for me for my merch and I am so so thrilled with how this one came out and I actually also have another design as well that I did that I drew and both of those have just gone live on my merch website so I will make sure to link that down below so if you want to get yourself either this shirt or the other one I designed which I'll put in here this one oh my gosh I actually had a lot of fun drawing this one as well I like went through all of my plans and picked out a bunch of pictures and drew them from that and I, I enjoyed doing the skeleton as well I'm feeling I'm in my skeleton era I feel like my my entire life is a skeleton era um, I've really enjoyed them for the entirety of my being so it's just like I feel good about them and I'm excited and they come in like hoodies and bags and mugs and stickers and shirts and whatever um, and I, I'm i just so so pleased with them and I've had such good feedback and I'm so so excited about them like I am I've been wearing this shirt like as much as I possibly can because it feels like so like me. I feel like this is the first bit of merch that I've made, like these two. They feel like they fit with my personal aesthetic the most out of any merch that I've ever done. So I'm super duper excited about that. Also it's international shipping so you can buy it wherever you are in the world. So that's fun as well. And if you don't like this one but you kind of like the vibe, check out Tropics Narcotics as well because um, they make beautiful planty rocker stuff so yeah i i'm just like i'm so giddy about them like as soon as the sample showed up i was just like freaking out i am absolutely just loving it and like i love the little caterpillar to butterfly motif because it's like you gotta keep growing you gotta keep growing from the caterpillar into the butterfly <laughs> i'm just so pleased about it so yeah that is that is the first thing and yeah that's the only non plants you think. All of the rest are plants. I've got seven plants to show you here and I don't know which one to do first. I think I will do this one first. 
So this is my little Clancho Beharensis, um, aka a felt bush. And I got this gigantic leaf. I've actually been able to separate it out, which is awesome. I got this big leaf, which, I mean, it doesn't look like much now because it's died off. But I got a big leaf in my last London plant swap in April, like as a part of a swap. And I kind of potted it in some soil, hoping that it would root. And it finally freaking did, I think, in June time. And now it has grown so freaking much. And like the leaves are starting to get their little like crinkly shape, which is super exciting. And I feel like this is the first sort of succulent that I've able been able to like successfully propagate. Normally I am not great at them. It's just not something that I've been able to do super well. But doing this one, I just feel so proud of it. And I just need to make sure that I'm keeping it moist enough for a little while to like root down into the soil properly. But I just kept it in this box because this leaf was attached until literally earlier today when I grabbed it. But I could potentially in theory chop this and like try and root it again. But I don't feel like I need to do that because I've just got this one. And it's so freaking adorable. And like the leaves are incredibly fuzzy soft. Like I don't know if you will be able to see them if the camera will pick it up well enough. But like they're just so so furry and I guess eventually this one will be able to go inside of my cacti and succulent cabinet but for now it just lives on this shelf here like that getting a bit of grow light from the cabinet as well as some evening grow light from these ones they're not normally on but since it's so freaking dark I felt like I needed to put them on the next one is my alocasia poly um holy freaking cow recently like a month ago this only had two leaves so this one on this side and this one on this side that and then this month it has put out two more huge beautiful leaves so it's essentially doubled in size and i know i will probably lose these ones that is just something that happens Though it might not for a while. We will see. This one, it's actually kind of sticky. It lives in my kitchen, so it does get that little bit of like oily stickiness on it, so it collects dust a bit more. But it's sitting right in a, ooh, northwest facing window. So it gets some afternoon light, but it's also blocked by a tree. So it doesn't get tons, so it does grow a little bit slower than some other allocations I have and it has just like this one has been an absolute journey it was actually one of my earliest plants that helped me like get into planting I know why did I get an allocation early but I did and I love it and even though it's not been perfect its entire life just even this I feel is stunning and I could not ask for a better plant and just like look at the shine the shine on them and the backs of the leaves are also super gorgeous and purple look at those so shiny um and fabulous so yeah it's doing well i think it's got some water in it this indicator it doesn't do amazingly <laughs> um because like i feel like I feel like I hear some water, but I'm not totally sure. So I might need to fill it up a little bit more. But yeah, and I just wish I could see in here or like get pull it out so I could look as well because I, I can't and it's kind of annoying. But that one, doing amazingly. Another plant that's doing phenomenally is this. This is my Syndapsis Dappled Dude, which I got as a two leaf cutting. It had these two leaves. And I potted it up in some soil and it's got some crazy freaking roots and it recently just put out the most incredible leaf like compared to the others in size I feel like it's like double in size and has so so much silver on it 
Like, holy cow. It is, like, I just love synapses so much. They just tickle a part of me. And it's like, they make me so happy. And whenever I have a, a new one that's like slightly different or odd or one that's not as common, I am just so excited to watch it grow and see it turn into something a bit more substantial than like a one or two leaf cutting. Because sometimes they get stuck in this stage for a while. Like a long, long, long while. <laughs> so I'm just really glad that this one has popped out a leaf, let alone one this size. I think it's because it's so close to a grow light. It lives in my Millsbow cabinet, the one in the other room. And it's just, it's just doing really well, like right near the top of the light. And like even though these leaves aren't looking phenomenal, like it's, that's, it's still wet. So I don't know, these ones might disappear at some point and it'll just grow from this one. But for now... I'm loving how it's looking, so very, very happy with that. Oh my goodness, I forgot to pull out one of them. Let me, let me go grab it. My regal is putting out a new freaking leaf. Oh my God, oh my God. Like, it's kind of hard to hold because it is just such a big, awkward thing. It has this one this gigantic leaf that's like triple the size of my head and i recently noticed that it was starting to put out another one and so i kind of flipped it around so this one is able to get a bit more light now and this one's the one that's on show but it's basically the size of my hand and i did go away this past weekend and i filmed it or like i took a little picture before and i'm pretty sure it was the size of my palm before i went away it's obviously not finished sizing up. It does have like a bit of a hole in it, just there, but I don't care. I think it's still like, oh, it's still so freaking beautiful. And I'm like doing my very best not to touch it because it is so pretty. And like, I just don't wanna hurt it or harm it or make anything bad happen to it. This is like, oh, this plant has, really reignited my love for anthuriums it like my love didn't go away from them but i feel like a lot of mine have been fairly not boring but haven't done much uh, this past year and this one has really changed that for me again and shown me again how freaking spectacular these are and i know this one does have like a few yellow spots and brown spots but I, I really don't care. Like as long as the majority of the leaf is healthy, like that's what matters to me in these situations. And like, I know it did have some thrips at some point, but it doesn't anymore. I haven't seen one on it in a little bit. I say I should knock on wood or something. There's no wood. But yeah, I haven't seen one on it in a bit. I've, I've done a pretty good job of making sure that they're not any. But, Th this one, I, I love, 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 love watching these leaves grow because like the amount that they size up is absolutely incredible. Like, can you believe that a leaf that came out about this big might turn into something this big? It just doesn't even seem possible, but for some reason it is. And I get to watch it over like a couple weeks and it's just such a good time for me and like, I will literally wake up every single morning, get out of bed, and stare at this plant, seeing how it has changed overnight. Because sometimes, like you can tell overnight, the amount it's changed. And oh, oh, I'm just so so pleased by this one, and so happy that I've been able to, like, rehab it. Because y'all saw what happened when it was like living in this cabinet before. It was uh, obviously not happy. I think though, however, I am gonna have to take it out of the <laughs> Millsbow cabinet once this leaf has fully hardened off. I don't wanna do it right now because that like drastic change in environment can potentially shock the plant and ruin the good growth that I'm getting here now. No, it's not a thrip. Oh, that I saw a thrip and I was gonna have to squish it and touch that leaf and it was gonna be scary, but I didn't, it's fine.
no, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, once, once this leaf has hardened off, I think I'm going to have to move it outside of the cabinet because I, this is not going to fit. It takes up space in my home. So I'm going to have to find a bit of shelf for it to live on instead of inside of the cabinet. But I think it'll be okay with that. I don't think it needs quite as much light as it has been getting for the past few months. Anyways, okay, that is another one that I am just oh, loving. Next, I'm super proud of my little Alocasia Jacqueline. Look at the tiny little thing. Like I know it is still quite small, but the fact that it came out with leaves like this size and now it's like nearly double that, it is so exciting. And I don't know if this is like the skinny form or the wide form. I feel like from this stage, it looks like it's the skinny form, but I don't know if that's just because it's like young and immature, it's not gonna give you those like crazy lobes that it will like eventually. But it's just, it's so freaking cool. And like the texture of it and the veins and the little hairs, it's, it, it's just like no other alocasia within my collection or like ever I, I nothing else is like it and I'm really excited to see how it continues growing ever since I cleaned out the pond box I think it's probably liking the situation a little bit better and it's got like fresh fertilizer in there as well so hopefully that can encourage it to continue to grow more and as long as it's getting enough light in there hopefully it will be fine I think I got this one in June last year, so June 2022, and now, like, it, it took a long time for it to grow the first couple leaves to sprout the corm, and so, like, a year later, this is where we're at, so I wonder what we're gonna be, like, looking like in, like, another year or two years, hopefully a lot more growth, but I'm going to be so, so excited to watch that growth come in as it does. Oh, it's just so freaking cute. Um, I guess speaking of birthday presents, because that one was a birthday present, um, for my 27th birthday. This one, I know it was on my list last month, but this is my Anthurium Politiflorum that I got for my birthday this year from my little plant friends. My little plant friends, my average sized plant friends. <laughs> um, and this is the new leaf that it was like that was coming out last month when I wasn't sure if it was a new leaf or uh, an inflorescence or what but it was this and I was expecting it to be like similar size to the ones here these three because like I I guess it's it was new to my collection it had been moved around like it's still quite young but just the size difference between these two alone is mind-blowing and I was completely not expecting it. It threw me by such a surprise. So I am, oh, I'm really, really loving it. I think it's not quite fully hardened off yet, but it's very, very close at this point. And the sort of sheen on it as well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to capture that. Cause it is, like, it's really hard to show on camera, I don't feel like it picks it up properly because it is such, not like a niche thing, but like, it just seems so unreal. But oh, if the like rate of growth of this one is as fast as it has been in the month that I've had it, like forever, this plant is going to freaking explode with growth. And I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Like it has a lot of potential on here and it is really, really loving this whole situation. I still have not looked at the roots yet, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're probably fine in there. 
Oh, there's a little one sticking out there. You can see that. Just there. So, yeah, it, it must be happy. I guess I could probably put this into soil now that this leaf is out. So I'm not like changing it up too, too much. Should I put it into soil though, or pond? That is my question to all of you. Do you have a politiflorum? Do you keep it in soil or semi-hydroponics? Let me know. Because I have alocasias, not alocasias, anthuriums in both, and I like them in both. So I'm not sure. I never know which way to go with them because I feel like they like both equally. I'm not sure, but I am sure about how much I am freaking loving this plant. And I could not imagine my life without it now. Like, wishlist plant ticked and beyond exceeded my expectations. Oh, so happy about that. And then, is there just one more? I think there must just be one more. I thought there was two. No, there's just one more. I'm um, sorry, I can't count. But it is this one. This is my Euphorbia Ingens, I think that's how it's pronounced. And I noticed this month that it is freaking growing. Like you can see that little bit at the top that's slightly lighter green and these new spikes. It is freaking growing and I like, I cannot wait to see how it does for me. I'm hoping that it doesn't just grow in like this tiny little bit. I hope it actually like grows to a similar width that it is because it'd be kind of weird if it just like suddenly got quite small. But I'm just glad that it is doing something. I do still have this one in soil. I think I will probably change it fairly soon. I have ordered some more cacti and succulents. I'm gonna do a haul on that soon as well. And those will all need changing into semi-hydro. They don't need it. I want to give them the change to semi-hydro because that's how I'm finding working with cacti and succulents the best. So maybe I will do a big cacti and succulent repot into semi-hydro again. And I'll do this one with it maybe. Ah. I'm just like, I'm so, so pleased with how well this cabinet is working. I like, I feel like this was the hardest one to pick. I could have probably filled this video entirely with cacti and succulents because I'm really, really enjoying how they're doing within that space. I've been noticing a whole lot of new growth. I think I do mention it in my July updates showing you what new growth is going on in there and there is quite a bunch. But this one, I feel like, is the one that's like feeling the most exciting to me because it's really started to do something this month, which is really good. And it means that it's liking its situation and it likes its spot better than where it was before. Cause I got this in March and it basically didn't do anything until July. And that's when I basically changed its situation here. So it must be liking it. And all of my cacti and succulents are liking it in there. And I'm really excited to fill that space out with more because it's just like a whole new adventure for me. I feel like I have a whole new realm of plants that I can get into now and try and hopefully not kill. I feel like I have the skills at this point. Not that you need tons of skills to do cacti and succulents. I feel like they're, now that I understand them, they're not that difficult. But because I really didn't understand them before, I, I massively struggled. So very proud. I would hug this one closer, but it would, it's not a cuddly sort of cactus <laughs> um, or succulent. Anyways, yeah, just like the whole of my cactus cabinet and this and all of it is just doing so well and I couldn't be more pleased with all of them. So yeah, those are all of my favorite things right now going on in my collection in the Good Growing Household. As you can see, it wasn't tons, um, but the stuff that is happening is super duper exciting and I am really looking forward to all of it. And I'm really looking forward to all of you being able to have your own good growing merch, if you don't already, but like cool new good growing merch that I'm like really freaking stoked on. So 
go check that out down below. And of course, absolutely no pressure to buy it. Like, you do not have to if you don't want to, but it is cool and it does help me out and it does support me. And so, if you've got a friend who you think would like this, even if they don't freaking like plants, I feel like you would like this. Even if you just like skulls, you would like this. Or butterflies, I don't know. Most people in my world like this. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, uh, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other houseplanty things you'd like me to talk about in the future. Tell me about your favorite plants in your collection right now because I love to hear all of the happy, joyous things that are going on for you too. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to keep growing and I will see you next time. Bye!